Hey everybody, my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. We finally have a diamond paint with me. So if you're new here, um, this is one of the Mystical Diamond Art diamond paintings that I sell. If you didn't know, um, I own Mystical Diamond Art and um, license work through them. Well, not through them, but license artwork uh, for the company so that um, I can sell it. So this particular painting that I'm working on right now, or canvas, I guess I should say, is um, Space Made by Josephine Wall. Um, I'm showing you that I did start this one in the other corner, but for recording purposes, I needed to start on the other side um, because I just, I couldn't get you guys on the other side because I had to plug my phone in and it was just too far. So yeah, this one's called Space Made. Um, I, right now as it presently stands, I don't know if I have any more in stock. Um, I'm doing this as a voiceover as well. So if, um, you hear any background noise, <laughs> that's why. Um, but yeah, I, I think I have a few in stock. I just moved everything a couple of days ago and I'm pretty sure I still saw a couple, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if it is, you guys can just go there and purchase it. I do know I still have Surfer's Dream as well as some other ones, um, in stock from Josephine Wall. This particular one, uh, this one and Surfer's Dream so far are two of the three largest diamond paintings that I've ever had in the shop. Um, these two by Joe Wall and then one by Andy Russell that I haven't brought back yet, which is, I think it's called Meditation 12, if I'm not mistaken. That one's also a very large one that I have not brought back yet. Um, just for cost purposes, because I've been having such a hard time with my supplier. Um, yeah, I, it takes me a minute to get started in this. I had to um, find my, uh, what's this thing called? The drill tray which i got from archer's arts it is my favorite drill tray ever i know some people have like every color every style i happen to <laughs> believe that i just don't need that many i have maybe three diamond painting pens um two of them handmade and then one of them is um a doctor who one by diamond painting by nani and then this is the only drill tray i have this great one that i use i don't like the small ones um, because when I shake them to line the drills up, I find that in the shorter ones that come with the kits, um, they go flying out of the tray. And I just like the deep, um, or the depth, I guess I should say, of um, the Archer's Arts one. So yeah. And I just leave it out. I don't store it with any of my kits. And I just leave it on my desk so that I use it kit by kit. And I don't worry about it getting lost or anything like that. So actually don't get a lot of drilling done in this video just because um it took me so long to get started like you can see we're three and a half minutes in and i've got maybe seven or eight drills laid um just because i was taking my time i was also watching supernatural on the tv which was across the room because i'm um, painting on the table and the tv's in the living room um so yeah i just was taking my time I'm actually going to do a time lapse of this as well and probably just put music um, over it. And I I had started doing this a while back. I would do either a stitch with me or a diamond paint with me. And um, I would do the chatty version, the longer version, and then I would go over it, not over it, but then I would take the voice out and shorten it to do the time lapse version. And then I stopped doing it because everything got crazy. Um, but I think I'm going to do that again for this one. This is the first one that I've done in a good bit. I'm going to try. I, it's not even try. I really just should be getting these videos out for you guys. I should be getting them once a week for you guys here on this channel and i think i'm going to really pick that up i haven't done any stitch with me's but i think i'm going to film a stitch with me tonight hopefully i say that like every video that i never do it but i need to at least commit to one diamond paint with me per week i think that's doable and then um i also should be putting diamond paint with me's on my patreon channel not channel but on my patreon tier for the diamond painting and on the YouTube join for the diamond painting. I haven't done that either. I think I put on there that it was one to two um, diamond paint with me's a month. 
Um, I really need to look that over and kind of reevaluate all of that kind of thing and see like what I'm offering and just really, um, I think I have three tiers on each one and just, you know, make sure that, that I'm doing it. I took a lot of time off because of everything that I was going through, I think three months. And then, um, it, to me, it feels like forever. And I'm just having, I'm kind of struggling a little bit getting back into it. Um, so let's see, um, you know, I don't have as much free time as I used to. I used to record a lot of my, um, videos in the evening, in the later evening or early in the morning. And now I just don't have that flexibility anymore, which is why, um, I'm opting. I think I'm going to opt to do voiceovers from here on out the way I can still record the drill with me's or the, the diamond paint with me or the stitch with me. Um, and not worry about the noise because my kids are usually here in the evenings making a bunch of noise. Um, even though they sleep in in the morning, I can't just record in the morning because I work. And so, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to work from home. Uh, but I, there, a lot of the stuff that I do is time sensitive and it has to be in by certain times of the day. And then other times it's, um... Like I get calls and emails that I need to respond to in a timely manner. And so it's like, you know, I just have to stop what I'm doing and make sure I get that done. So it is what it is. That was a long rant about nothing. Um, I realized that I, this video came out to be about 30 minutes. And that's after I cut down some stuff because it was a lot of um, dead I don't, I don't, what would you call it? I don't want to say dead air or dead space or negative space, but that's what keeps the wanting to come to mind. But there was a lot of nothing in the video because I kept getting up from the table and leaving. Um, there was a few times where I got a phone call or text messages that I needed to respond to or whatever. So I had to stop the video and start it over. Um, you know, it is what it is. So I showed this cat in my vlog, um, that's on my Patreon um, and I, it was on the table and I needed to use it as, um, a weight for the cover and it worked perfectly. You know, usually I use the drills or my phone or whatever, um, since I haven't recorded one of these videos in so long, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I just, I have so many diamond paintings that I haven't hung up and, um, I honestly, I don't even know what to do with them. I have them hanging in my closet right now, along with my finished cross stitches and um that's only the ones that i've decided to keep because i've given a lot of them away as well and i'm seeing being interrupted again and we're back <laughs> hopefully i honestly just want to get through this i we're only eight minutes in i've had to stop twice let's see if i can get further than four minutes in this clip i'm sorry if you hearing my phone buzz it is buzzing um you know it is what it is Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so out of the loop. Um, I'm not current on any of my cross stitches. Um, the people that I subscribe to, I've unsubscribed from several people. Um, I just feel like I'm in a very different headspace with my stitching style and those that I follow. There's a few people that I'm very invested in <laughs> that I still watch. You guys know who you are. Um, you know, but even still, if you don't feel like I'm watching you, I probably am. I don't comment on as many videos as I used to. I used to comment on almost every single video. Um, now I just, I, I watch the people that I watch and then I move on. I don't comment anymore just because usually I'm so busy. A lot of the time I have, um, uh, floss tube playing when I'm in my car and I'm just driving and then it goes into the next video and so I can't comment stuff like that it's not because I'm not watching you guys or things like that um, sometimes something particularly will stick out and I'll feel the need to comment and I'll go back when I get a chance and comment if it's something that's really bothering me or something that I feel like I need to say or ask or whatever you know it is what it is um, you know I feel like I've been missing from floss tube for a very long time i basically stopped watching floss tube like the second week of march april may june july and so about four and a half months that i haven't been watching floss tube regularly at all the past few days i've been going back and watching um 
older videos um, from some of the people that I really love to watch and um, you know just trying to catch up and and see where it goes I got stuck on YouTube watching like Karen videos and road rage videos and car accidents and just dumb dumb stuff time sucks is all it is I've deleted several um, apps off of my phone games that were just completely pointless and just completely wasting my time um, because I just I want to get back to doing what I was doing which was stitching I went a very long time um, hardly playing any games on my phone and I was just stitching or reading and that's kind of where I want to get back to just because it's more productive for me and I feel like I'm getting stuff done um, this week I feel really good um, my house is clean, my laundry is done, all of that kind of stuff. And I feel good today that we're going to get some crafting done tonight. Hopefully some stitching. I'm so torn about what I want to do. Um, I had some situations, <laughs> which I will update in my, uh, I'll go into full detail in my, um, what's it? Floss tube, but my cat. Uh, had some incidents and I had to wash a bunch of things and I was organizing some of my stitching and saw um, my full coverage pieces that I really just want to get to and then I was making my bed the other day and I don't have a lot of storage space in this house so I stored all of my personal diamond paintings under my bed and I want to do the, all the things. I was thinking about my um, um, Jessica Rabbit piece from Diamond Art Club. I don't even think I'm halfway through on that one. And yes, I just got interrupted again. So we made it, uh, was it eight, nine, ten, three minutes, not even five minutes. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Seriously, guys, I really don't. Um, yeah, it's a square. And so that's a whole thing on its own. But I, I don't know. Like maybe, no, I'm not even a quarter of the way done because she's one of the big ones. But I really love the the image of itself. And I think it's going to be freaking gorgeous once it's done. Um, I've bought one Diamond Art Club in the past, shit, I don't know, at least six months, maybe longer um, probably eight months. No, is it? I don't know. Something like that. And it's a saxophone one that I want to do for my sister, except that that one is also square. I hate freaking square. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped purchasing from Diamond Art Club um, in recent, uh, well, the past year, I guess, and a half. Because even when I started Mystical Diamond Art, I was still spending a lot of money at Diamond Art Club. Especially um, when Klarna was accepting me as a customer. I don't know what changes Klarna made. But one day I went to place an order and I didn't change any of my information. My address didn't change. My billing address didn't change. My card, my debit card didn't change. And they stopped proving me. And it was really frustrating. I tried to get a hold of them and they were like, yeah, this and that, la la la. And like saying that they changed something about how they do it and I was like but I've been a customer I said look at my order history I have like five or six fully paid off orders never a missed payment um you know nothing and like you can't even like grandfather those people in like such a bad way to do business and they were like nope so that was like a, a, a thing because at the time Diamond Art Club was one of the most expensive diamond painting companies out there and I just couldn't afford it if I didn't do that unless I only bought one painting at a time and so that's what I did the next several paintings that I bought I only bought one um and I I'm pretty sure I've lost my diamond status by now is it still called diamond status I don't know what it is but that the highest tier that you have I don't think I have that anymore um and I've only bought that one painting since then um but that's part of the reason but the main part of the reason is that a lot of the paintings that were coming out the images that I absolutely loved and wanted to have were had all been coming out in squares and I loathe squares I don't know what it is about it I just don't freaking like it I don't like 
using them. I don't like the, the end result, just doesn't look the same to me. Um, and I know a lot of people feel completely opposite about squares. They say that squares are better than rounds and they look better. I don't know what it is. I just don't care for it. Um, and a lot of the Mandy Manzano images that I absolutely loved were moving towards square. And I know a lot of people had put in the requests for the superhero ones. And I can't remember what happened with those, but I know something had come out around the same time and it was a square. And I was like, I'm just, I'm so over it because I know I'm going to get it. I'm going to want to get it or I will buy it. And it's just going to sit there because I can't bring myself to want to struggle with squares i can't multi-place them when i'm laying them down i could do maybe two or three at a time and in the three placer and that's it i can't do any more than that there's just something about them i don't know what it is that i think we made it through five minutes without getting interrupted <laughs> four minutes at least right anyway that was too long about squares so yeah, and um, part of the reason, that's part of the reason why I don't carry squares myself. Not only that, but um, the quality of squares is very hard to get a good quality. Um, there's a lot of cheap companies on AliExpress who don't care what kind of squares they have and they just kind of have whatever and they have like tabs on them where the squares don't sit closely to each other or they have like curves around the edge so that it looks like part of the square is missing and it's just silly like it just doesn't look right um you know and the color uh what's the word i'm looking for like they don't shine like some of them will be shiny and some of them will be dull and from what i can see it's just it's difficult to find a good company that offers a good quality square drill um you know and it's just that's a part that's a whole like learning curve and process that i just i'm not wanting to invest the time and the effort into doing it because we have to pay for all the samples that get brought up we have to pay the designers and and everything and so it's like um you know we are having to invest in something that we might not even bring to the store and that's kind of what makes it um less appealing as well to me as a small business owner because of that because it's just it's a lot harder to um want to deal with i guess when there's so much of a time commitment with it you know and it, it kind of sucks because i know a lot of people do like squares but i would say the majority of my customers um are are um what's that they love rounds as much as i do and that's part of i guess that's why i feel so comfortable um keeping them keeping them like doing still doing rounds and not even like worrying about squares at all because i think honestly this year i haven't had anybody email me asking for squares um in recent well when i first started like that first year there was a lot of people who were like you know are you gonna do squares when are you gonna do squares and I honestly like couldn't tell you like I was like, eh, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it. I would just say maybe in the future. And now I can say with 100 percent certainty that I have no intentions on uh, doing squares or bringing squares into the store whatsoever. So, you know, it is what it is. I hope that this is probably like the most boring voiceover ever or um drill with me and I think there's still like another 10 minutes or so and that that's fine you guys don't even have you're probably not even listening at this point and if you are you don't have to listen to the rest of it um but if you want to see the progress you can always just go watch the time lapse version because I'm going to upload these at the same time and then I won't publish them until both of them are ready so does that make sense you know we'll see we shall see 
Uh, so I, I'm actually doing a spreadsheet right now. Um, I realized that I left a few things out of one of my work spreadsheets that I didn't finish from this morning. So I'm just updating that. Um, and that's it. It just, we're done. We're done so with it at this point anyway. I feel, I said this already, but I still feel so out of the freaking loop. Um, I'm not even paying attention to baseball as much this year. Um, it just, I don't know, just something about, you know, everything. And I'm just, I'm really hoping that the, the rest of the year goes a little bit smoother, maybe. And, um, you know, as we work towards 2022, I hope that, you know, things start kind of shifting in a more positive uh, way all around, you know, everything with COVID and, um, you know, the school system and things like that, because my kids, my kids do go to public school and that's difficult in and of itself, you know, especially at this time, you know, I want to um, send them back to school and, you know, I have family members who feel differently about that, but I, I honestly, like, I don't know. I'm just not, I don't think in the headspace to homeschool them. And from my understanding, it's not being optional this year. School starts on the 9th and today is the 28th, I believe. And from what I'm being told, um, whether or not your child is going to go back to in-person learning isn't optional like it was at, um, in 2020 and at the beginning of 2021, um, that if you want your child to uh, be homeschooled or stay at home, then you have to remove them from the public school um, roster, disenroll them from their school and enroll them in either a private learning academy um, where they do some type of like online tutoring or do a virtual learning academy, which here, that's actually what it's called, VLA. I don't know if it's the same everywhere, but that's how it is here. And it's scary because I don't want to take my kids out of public school because that's like their life. And it makes me nervous, you know, to do another year of schooling. I don't know if the curriculum's the same, if it matches. I feel like they've had a lot of regression um, during uh, this second school year, especially the the 2020-2021 school year. I feel like that school year, the one that just ended, that they had a lot of regression. My 15-year-old is definitely going back to school. He just got his first dose of his COVID vaccine. He's been spending time with his dad in Texas, and he's very anti-COVID shot and refused to give him a shot. And I told him like, look, I said, he's going back to in-person learning. He needs his shot, like he has to get it. He's like, well, I want him to stay here longer. And I told him I need him to come back to New Mexico so I can get him his shot and he needs time to get it in between. So he agreed to get him his shot over there. If he could stay longer, I told him that's fine if you get him a shot. And so he did that. So I'm very, I'm uh, happy that he did that even though it goes against, you know, what he was, wanting to believe at the time, which is fine, but this isn't about, you know, whether you believe COVID's real or not, because it very much is. Oh, some people. Anyway, this isn't uh, a political chat, or I'm not trying to rile anybody's buttons, and I'm definitely not wanting to start a debate about any of this in the comment section. I'm just bullshitting for the sake of this video. So, yeah, I just... I don't have a whole lot of updates. I haven't stitched in a couple of days. Like I said, hoping to change that tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, I did leave my diamond painting out on the table. So I hope my kids don't freaking trash it when they come, uh, when we have dinner or my daughter, she, um, my seven year old, she is like a freaking tornado, man. I swear. She just makes the biggest messes with anything possible i mean i swear sometimes you're like there's no way she can trash this like and then 10 minutes later it is completely freaking trash i don't know how she does it 
Um, I don't know if it's because she's bored or what the deal is. That's part of the reason why I'm very much looking forward to returning them to in-person learning. Um, because of that, you know, it just, it's difficult. It was difficult to maintain. Not only that, but I'm a full-time student still. I'm still in my graduate program. I just started it. I just finished my first year. No. I did spring session and summer session just ended. I turned in my last final yesterday and then I'm moving into this fall session. Um, in December, I'll have completed my whole first year in my master program. And, you know, not only that, but now I'm working 40 hours a week on top of being a full-time student and then having to homeschool two of my three kids. I just, it's something that I am not willing to put myself in that situation i hope i don't know what do you guys think like i just i'm not sure you know i did it for a long time but i wasn't working at the time either um well aside from working from home doing youtube which i i don't get paid for and um you know mystical diamond art um it's hit and miss sometimes <laughs> with that as well sometimes i get paid sometimes i don't so you know it is what it is but being a mom in itself is a full-time job minus the homeschooling aspect of it. So it's definitely a different experience. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, let's see. Have you guys tried any of the Heaven and Earth diamond paintings? I have not. Um, I have been tempted to order a couple of them, but honestly, like I just have so many that I just... I don't feel inclined to order any more diamond paintings. Um, I think it's because I'm pretty maxed out on storage as it is. And that's why I feel like I just, I don't have that like intense desire to purchase more. Um, when previously I was like, give me all the diamond paintings. And now I just don't feel that way. Um, but it's not like that with cross stitch. Like my Etsy cart is full. My... One, two, three stitch cart is full. My wholesale carts are full with all my wholesale uh, suppliers that I purchased from. Um, my Etsy uh, wish list or save for later um, cart is completely full. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. I don't freaking know. I think I have major problems. I've been doing pretty good not purchasing anything at all lately. Um, just because I have this really intense desire to just do what I have and be happy with what I have. I guess that's not a bad thing either though, right? I don't know. My throat is running kind of dry. Whoa. My daughter... Sorry, I'm trying to put my broom away. My daughter wants me to pick her up Subway. And I'm like, girl, we have so much freaking food at home. Like, why do you want Subway? And she's just like, I just do, la la la. I guess they were going to have Subway for lunch and then they decided to have pizza with, um, I don't know, I guess one of her brothers got her pizza. She's like, I don't want pizza. So now she wants Subway and given that it's already after five o'clock, um, you know, it comes into like dinner and I'm like, well, I'm not going to be cooking at seven or eight because I'm already getting tired at that time and I'm not going to be starting dinner because you decide you're hungry at nine. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Is anybody like, is this how being a parent is like all the time? I don't even know. It just, it's out of control sometimes. How do you, do you guys as kids like combing their hair? This is something when I went to school, it was like you had to have your hair combed no matter what. Um, you did your hair. Either your mom did your hair, your grandma did your hair, or you did your hair. And if you didn't do your hair, then either your mom or your grandma did it. And you did not want your mom or your grandma to do your hair because they always used rubber bands that pulled half your hair out when you pulled them out. And they always did your hair so tight that it changed the shape of your eyes because your hair was so tight. Um, and I just noticed kids these days, when I take my kids to school or drop them off or pick them up or um, events or whatever, like the little kids just don't comb their hair anymore. Is that a thing? Like, I don't know what it is. It's just down um, or it's cut so short that you don't 
can't really comb it because it's short. Even the girls um, and then the boys have long hair that's not combed. It's just, I don't know. It's strange. I Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. I just remember being um, my daughter's age and there was no way they would let me go to school with my hair just down and not combed whatsoever. I don't even think I started wearing my hair down until I was like down by itself with like nothing. I know I wore it down in kindergarten and first grade because my mom, I had hair down to my butt and she was a full-time working single mom and she cut my hair up to my ears in this little bob because she said, like, she just didn't have time to comb my hair. So she cut it all the way up to my ears. That was the only time I wore my hair down the rest of the time because I had really thick, frizzy hair um, the rest of the time. When I got older, the rest of elementary and all through middle school, I wore it up in some type of way halfway. used tons of freaking hairspray. And then when I got to high school, I started straightening it and blow drying it. And then that's when I started wearing my hair down. But anyway, I see the end of the clip. So we're going to start wrapping it up here. Um, hopefully I didn't annoy you guys too much with this very rambly chat. And hopefully this is the first of many to come soon on this channel. And we'll see you guys in future videos, hopefully. Thank you for listening.